produce a what? An electrical charge. Okay. And feelings produce a magnetic charge. And how you think and how you feel broadcasts an electromagnetic signature that influences every single atom in your life. The thought sends the signal out. Now think about this. And the feeling draws the event back. So you could have the intent that you want wealth, you want health, you want success. That's your intent, that's your thought. But if you're waiting for the experience to happen, to feel it, then you're not drawing the experience to you because you're not feeling the emotion, right? So then teaching people once again how to balance their thoughts and feelings because you can, you can enter that cycle either place. Sometimes we do a meditation, we start opening our heart, we start elevating the body's energy, and then those emotions can drive certain thoughts of your future. Mm -hmm. Other times, you open your awareness, you create brain coherence, you have the vision of your future, you begin to emotionally experience it. However you wanna jump on that cycle, uh, and then sustain it, because the longer you're conscious of that energy, the more you're drawing your future to you. So then, most people spend their lives, right? They we live in this realm called space-time, three-dimensional reality, and you move your body through space and three-dimensional reality, it takes time. Yeah. So everything, all your goals, all your dreams, all your visions, you're gonna have to get your body up and drag it through space every day to pay off that, you know, that home that's in your future, right? Right. When you create from the field instead of from matter, when you use a vibrational match between your energy and some potential, and your thoughts and feelings are coherent, now you are going to begin to collapse time and space where the experience is going to be drawn to you. Now, now you're in a vortex to your destiny and now you don't have to go anywhere to get it because you're not playing by the rules of three-dimensional reality. You're playing by the rules of energy and the quantum. If the word meditation means to become familiar with, right? Yeah.